Hello guys, lady. Welcome back to audio book. Yeah, it's relevant to a pillow. Bringing the dream back to American small business. You should know now that the man not only live by acting, not by thinking about acting, not by thinking about what he will think when he has finished acting. The man not only chooses the path with heart and follow it. Carlos Castaneda, a uh, separate reality, okay? This book is not simply prescription for success, it's call to arms, but this call to arms is not a call to do battle. It's a call to learning how to feel, think, and act differently, and more productively, more humanly, than our existing skills and understanding allow. Today, the world is a difficult place, humankind has experienced more change in the past 20 years than it has in 2000 that preceded them. Boundary that once served us geographically, politically, socially, emotionally no longer exists. The rules are constantly changing, but people cannot live without boundaries, without structure, without rules. So now new have sprung up and proliferated in order to fill the void left by those that no longer seem to serve a new air condition. Unfortunately, in the world of accelerated change, there is little time for rule to take hold. As soon as the new rule are upon us, they too are allowed a swallow up in in sociable vertex. Vortex of change follow all too quickly by more rules and them still more. The result of all this change is chaos and disaster. Disorder is change bringing with it an even more turbulent world than the one before it. With two and two tradition to hold on to a world in trouble, we have chosen design, but trouble didn't start out there in the world. If it did, where are they? Where will they be in trouble because whose mouth knows enough to control or even have an impact on what's happening out there? If it is so difficult for us to do anything about our businesses, how in the world are we going to do anything about the world? We can't eat that simple and any call to arms that suggests we can is a stopgap measure, a call to this illu illumination and ultimately to disaster because our stopgap measures are not solution. Our feeble attempt to fix the world can't change. The overall condition, if it, they work at all, they can only change the circumstances in which we find ourselves at any time, <clears throat> moment, we can't change the world out there. And fortunately, we don't have to. We can begin much closer to home. We can begin in here, in fact, if where to success we must, because the KO isn't out there. In everyone else, it, it's not out there in the world. The KO is in here, in you and me. The world not the problem. You and I are. The world not in chaos, we are. The world apparent chaos is only a reflection of our own inner turmoil. If the world reflects a lack of good sense, it because it one of us reflects the same. If the world acts as it doesn't know what it doing, it because it one of us act the same. If the world is violent and greedy and heartless, and in human and often just plain stupid, it is because you and I are that way. So if the world is going to be changed, we must for change our life. Unfortunately, we haven't been taught to think that way we are an out there society accustomed to thinking in terms of them. Again, then we want to fix the world so that we can remain the same and for an out there society coming inside a problem. But now is the time to learn how. Now is the time to change because unless we do, the chaos will remain and we can't afford this kind of chaos much longer. We're simply running out of time. 
Breaking the Gap. And that's what this book is really about, Breaking the Gap between the outside and the inside, between the world out there and the world in, in here. And your small business can become that bridge, the bridge between you and the world, the bridge that controls together the world out there and the world in here in such a way as to make both more human. In such a way that makes both more productive, in such a way that makes both world work. Or like the boss hotel, your small business can become your job juggle, your practice hall. Joe Himen in his book Zen in the Martial Arts tell us what a dojo is. A dojo is many actual cosmo where we make contact with our self, our fear, anxieties, reaction, and habit. It is an arena of confined conflict where we confront an opponent who is not an opponent but rather a partner, engaged in helping us understand ourselves more fully. It is a place where we can learn a great deal in a short time about who we are and how we act in the world. The conflict that takes place inside the dojo help us handle conflict that take place outside. The total concentration and discipline required to study martial arts carry over the daily life. The activity in the dojo call us on us to constantly attempt new things. So it is also a source of learning in Zen terminology, a source of self enlightenment. And that is exactly what a small business is. A small business is a place that responds instantly to any action we take. Um, a place where we can practice implementing ideas in a way that change our life. A place where we can begin to test all of the assumptions we have about ourselves. It is a place where questions are at least as important as answer. If not more so, it is a place where generalization must give way to specifics. It is a place that demands our attention, a place where rules must be followed and other pressure, a place that is practical, not idealistic, but a place where ideal idealism must be a present for practical to serve. It is a place where um, where the world is reduced to managerial size, small enough to be responsive but big enough to test everything we have for two radical whole of world of our own. A world of our own, and that after all is the dream of American small business, the dream that has served as catalyst for uh, so many entrepreneurial and not so entrepreneurial efforts. To create a world of four of our own, what is the entrepreneurial revolution people are talking about today, where millions of us are going into business for ourselves, it is nothing more than a fly from the world of chaos out there into the world of our own. It is a yearning for structure, for form, for control, and for something else as well, something more personal, something less distinct yet much more intimately connected with who we are as human beings is the journey for a relationship with ourselves and the world in a way impossible to explain in a job. Unfortunately, as we already seen, the dream we rarely rely on most small businesses fail. And the reason is obvious, we bring our chaos with us. We don't change, we try to change out there. We try to change the world by starting a small business, but we stay the same. So, and so the small business that was started to give us a new world become instead of the boss job in the world. The lesson to learn from all this is simple. We can't change our life by starting out there. All we can produce in the process is more chaos. We can only change our life and create the world of our own if we first understand how such a world is constructed how it works and the rule of the game. And that means we have to study the world and how we are in, in it. And in order to, to do that, we need the world small enough in scope and complexity to study. A small business just such a world 
and the business development program can be a means to study it most effectively. And the franchise prototype can provide our study with the discipline it needs to succeed. Innovation, qual quantification, and orchestration become the practice that brings us an opponent, whoever that may be, to the discoveries of our limits, of our weaknesses, of our strength, to the discovery of what really works in the world rather than what our imagination might wish would work for in a martial arts context. There is no room for imagination. We could get killed out there. Innovation, quantification, and orchestration provide the life belief system of a business, the philosophical bedrock of our interaction with the world there become a source for learning, for creating, for expanding beyond our self import limits. And through innovation, quantification, and orchestration, our business can become something more than merely a place to go to work. It becomes a place that satisfies more of ourselves than just a technician. There is a place in business development for the whole of ourselves, for the innovator, for the maintainer, or for the doer, the, for the interpreter, the nature, and the technician in each of us. Your small business and mine can give us more life. An idea for action, but does it work? Will the model of franchise prototype work for you? There is an old Chinese proverb said that says, when you hear something, you will forget it. When you see something, you will remember it. But not until you do something, you, will you understand it. In short, my answer is a uh, resounding yes, it does work. Every time it apply and it will work for you, it will be because it requires the full engagement of people working it. It can be done half-heartedly. It can be done frantically. It can only be done intelligently, reasonably, intentionally, systematically, and compassionately. The very process of business development creates instantaneous change in people who engage in it. And that is a key to its success, those who engage in the process that remember the aim in order to continue it. And in the process of remembering, the aim becomes tethered to something real in the world, their business, a place in which aim can be tested in a concrete, practical way. The business becomes a symbol for the life they wish to live, a visible manifestation of who they are and what they believe, a living active involving test testament to the will of man. But I ask you not to think about it anymore. It's time to act. Because until you do, you will understand it. And when you do, there will be nothing left to sing about you be well on your way. Until then, it's just another good idea, just another creative thought. It's time to turn it into an innovation. It's time to bring the dream back to American small business. It's been gone for far too long. Afterward, thinking first step. Afterward. So now what do you do? Now what? Now that the, f the fire is burning, now that you want to get started, now that you want to turn your business into little money machine, a turnkey operation, well, like Sarah and South and a small business owner, just like her, you must take the first step. You must step back from your business and look at it through your new image eyes. You must analyze your business as it is today, decide what it must look like when you finally got it just like you want, and then determine the gap between where you are and where you need to be in order to make your dream a reality. That gap will tell you exactly what needs to be done to create the business of your dream. And what you discover when you look at the business through your image eyes is that the gap is already created by the essence of the system and the, the absence of a proprietary way of doing business that successfully differentiates your business from 
um, everyone else. Since the image first appeared in 1986, we at Emit Worldwide have assisted thousands of small business owners in taking that first step back from your business to discover what the gap was in each of their cases. We would have loved to do the same for you. It begins with invitation to take part in our free image experience. We will learn how to cross the bridge from where you are to where you want to be in your business, your life and your future. The image experience will take you to a place you have never been therefore, and it will feel like home to take your first step, simply complete the form at the back of this book and follow the instruction provided and remember. When you hear something, you forget it. When you see something, you remember it. But not until you do something, you will understand it. Let's get started. Michael Igerber, Emit Worldwide, Santa Rosa, California, John 2001. Okay, guys, ladies, so this book is finished. I wouldn't like it for you about the answer. I hope that you understand about the answer altogether. The answer of this book is Michael Igerber. Yeah. He the founder, chairman and CEO of Emit Worldwide, the company founded in 1977. Yeah. So I don't read for you about this yeah. Hope that you get the information from Mr. Michael Igerber. Yeah. Michael Igerber. Book by Michael Igerber. Yeah, there are Emit Mastery, the Emit Manager, the Emit Constructor, the Emit Physician. So there are many books that written by Mr. Igerber. So the book is copyright, you know, copyright. Emit the Visit, copyright 2007 by Michael Igerber. All right, it's served under International Pan American Copyright Convention. Okay, I wouldn't like to read for you about this too. I uh, hope that you see the information. It a uh, HarperCollins ebook here yeah, as a publisher Australia, HarperCollins Publisher Australia, PTY LTD, 25 Red Road, PO Box 21, Kimball PNSW, 2023 Australia, HTTP, uh, HTTP dot slash slash www dot ebooks dot com dot au Canada. Okay, so in Canada you can contact the Hapercolin Publisher Ltd. Um, address 55 Avenue Road, Suit 2900 Toronto on ON um, 5R 3L2 Canada. Website you can go to www dot ebook.ca New Zealand you can go to HarperCollins Publisher New Zealand Limited PO Box um, 1 Auckland New Zealand and you can go to website www.hapercollinsbook.com.nz United Kingdom HarperCollins Publisher LTD 785 Fulham Palace Road London W6 AJB UK, you can go to website www.uk.hypercolinebooks.com and United States, you can go to Hypercolins Publisher, INC 10 East 53 3rd Street, New York and Y1002. Um, you can go to website http. Dot dot double slash www ebooks.com okay so the book is finished hope that you understand about the series from this book and you can use the series from this book to practice in you in your real life especially in your business in order to make yourself become million and billionaire thank you so much for your listening so far yeah hope that you will subscribe my YouTube channel in order to get more book. Yeah. The next book is very special for you guys. Okay. Okay. So thanks you again yeah, for your for your listening.